In this video, I will answer the two most common questions I get about the Claim Variability Benchmark product. Why was it created, and how can a user benefit from it? For me, the answer to both of these questions centers around a fundamental goal of all actuarial analysis, which is to gain confidence in the numbers. If you think about it, as actuaries, we use multiple models, data sets, assumptions, benchmarks, and the like to improve our estimates. In other words, to gain confidence in the numbers. To answer the first question about why the product was created, Let's start with deterministic reserving methods. For common methods, we learn early in our career to understand their strengths and weaknesses. By comparison, this is relatively simple since the methods are designed to estimate one number, the central estimate. But as our tools have evolved to help us estimate an entire distribution of possible outcomes, understanding the models, strengths and weaknesses is not as simple. So unlike deterministic methods, understanding the theory behind a stochastic model is not enough to know whether the estimates are reasonable or not. The problem is, but even with backtesting, only one outcome does not really tell us much about the quality of an estimated distribution. In order to assess quality, we need to backtest a very large number of data sets. If the distributions are reasonable, then the outcomes should accurately predict all percentiles. If the estimates are underpredicting, we will see too many outcomes in the low and high percentiles. Conversely, if the estimates are overpredicting, we will see too few outcomes in the low and high percentiles. With this in mind, we set out to backtest nearly 31,000 triangle sets. The results were mixed, with some models showing better predictions than others, but overall the models tended to underpredict the actual outcomes, and this has massive implications for actuarial estimates. It was the insights from this industry-leading research that caused me to search for a way to share these results with others. In the end, we developed some sophisticated algorithms based on our findings for lost development patterns, unpaid claim distributions, and correlation between lines of business and created the Claim Variability Benchmark product as an easy-to-use Excel add-in. To answer the second question about how it can benefit a user actually has multiple parts. Starting with lost development patterns, typical patterns are based on an average pattern, which may or may not provide a reasonable fit to your pattern. But since the Claim Variability Benchmark product is based on average patterns from thousands of data triangles, you can search for different percentiles to find a better pattern for your data. In this example, the 71st percentile has the best fit. While a single percentile can often provide a better fit than the average, you might find that your pattern is slower than average in early development periods and faster in later periods, or vice versa. In this situation, a single percentile may be better than average, but only marginally better. Here is where the real power of using percentiles allows you to customize your benchmark pattern to the features of your data by blending patterns. Once you fit a benchmark pattern to your data, it is easy to create a statistically based range of patterns. For example, you can select patterns plus or minus 20 percentage points from the selected pattern. This benchmark range can easily be compared to your range of reasonable estimates for multiple methods. And you can build ranges from all of the segments into a range for the entire company. This dynamic approach can help you gain more confidence in your range of reasonable estimates. Moving to estimates of unpaid claim distributions, knowing that common models tend to underestimate distributions is useful. Here our algorithm can provide a benchmark distribution for comparison. Then, whether your estimates are close to the benchmark or not, you can assess model assumptions to gain confidence in your estimated distribution. More importantly, the algorithm is not just one size fits all, as it automatically adjusts based on the size of the exposures. For example, increasing the exposures proportionally increases the mean benchmark, but the standard deviation is not increased proportionally, which makes sense statistically. The benchmarks can also be tailored to your selected claim development pattern, among other options. In addition to the unpaid claims, the algorithm also includes benchmarks for calendar year cash flows, unpaid claim runoff, and loss ratio distributions. These different outputs can help you benchmark risk margins, pricing risk, and other estimates. After assessing each segment, many common problems, such as capital requirements, involve correlating all of the estimated distributions. The correlation benchmarks are invaluable when combining the individual distributions into an aggregate distribution. The segment distributions and the correlation benchmarks provide new insights to your reserving process and could lead you to a realization that your company is supporting more risk than you thought, or it may help significantly reduce your aggregate capital requirements. Either way, it will help you gain confidence in your aggregate unpaid claim estimates. So I guess the answer to both questions is, to help others gain confidence in the numbers. If you'd like to learn more about the claim variability benchmarks, you can visit our website. You can find published research on the backtesting and several articles and videos on how to use the product. And if you send me an email, I would be happy to help you figure out how to use the product to solve your business problems.